I'm gonna show you how to add pony beads to your t-shirt print hip scarf that I showed you how to make in this tutorial so that you can wear it for belly dancing, to a party, or even as a beach cover-up. Stay with me, because we're starting right now. Marhaba, I'm belly dancer Jen Suya and self-proclaimed costumer extraordinaire. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add very inexpensive pony beads to your t-shirt fringe hip scarf. Now, as we saw in the other video, which if you haven't seen it yet, you don't have to go look at it. You can check this one out first, then we'll put a link in the video description and in the info card, and you can make that later because you'll want to see how we do this one first. But here it is the basic t-shirt fringe hip scarf, which is super cute, but it will be even cuter when we add the pony beads. And the idea on this is I got the very cheapest pony beads. We went to the fabric store. You can go to any craft store. You can also order these online, just a big bunch. This was like six bucks for a pound of these things. You can get them in really fancy colors and stuff, but I just wanted to go the cheapest because that's what this one is about, right? We want to make a hip scarf out of an old t-shirt or whatever we have lying around, so we want the cheapest beads. This, like you already saw, is what the finished product is going to look like. And the great thing about this is, in terms of hip scarves, is that it's like almost indestructible. With a lot of hip scarves with coins and be beautiful beads on them, you can't sit down in them. So they look great, but if you just want to wear it to a party or wear it to the beach or keep it in your bag so in case there's an opportunity to dance, you're ready, these are great. You can also wash them. Party. So what we've got is three beads and then a single bead. And you can see I don't have any particular color pattern. It's just random against, you know, just a, a plain t-shirt. So step one is take a towel and because when you open the beads, they will go everywhere. So the towel gives you something that they can uh, sit on as you use them. Here's my bag of beads, which I'm gonna try to open carefully so they don't go all over the floor. And I'm just gonna pour a whole bunch out here, ready to go. Okay, beads on the towel. Then I need this right here, this breadboard and skewers. So the next step is to take our kebab skewer and cut the point off because this is the tool that we're gonna use to push the fabric through the beads. But what I found is that that puts a hole in it. So I'm just gonna cut off the tip, maybe about that much. Get that puppy out of the way. So now we're ready, there's our little tool. Start by turning your hip scarf so your fringe is away from you and I have it sort of lined up over the towel. Take your nifty little kebab skewer, the first fringe and I'm gonna push the end of the skewer over the fabric grab a bead and use that skewer to push it through. Oh, this went through easily, sometimes it doesn't. And then I'm gonna slide the bead down to the knot, put my skewer back in the fabric, grab another bead, push it through, oops, push it through, do that one again. Grab it with my fingernail. Sometimes they go through easily. And then one more. Let's take a, let's take an orange. Push that one through. Grab it with my fingernail. I'm gonna show this to you in detail in a minute. Just wanna show you the whole thing. Now I'm gonna tie a knot, just one knot around like this. Push that through to there. Tighten it up. And again, I'll show you in detail in a second. And then grab your last bead at the bottom. Let's take this little green one and then that'll be for the bottom one. A knot at the bottom, and pull it down. And there's what one of them looks like. In detail, the skewer, I'm putting it into the end of the fabric, and you don't have to be this precise. And pushing it through, see sometimes I have a lot of fabric, so it pushes through, more. it's more difficult, and then I'm gonna 
kind of grab that with my fingernail as I pull the skewer out and then pull it through. So it is easier with a little bit of fingernail there. Skewer, grab a bead, push it through there, pull the fabric through, and the end bead, just like that. Now you can save all the knots for the end, but I've done that and then forgotten that I didn't put the knots on and they've fallen out. So I do it a little at a time. I mean, one, one piece of fringe at a time. And then at the end, let's grab a yellow one. And whoops, sometimes it, it can be a little bit tedious to do this. And there we go, like that, boom, like that. So you can see that this is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple, but it, it's a little bit tedious and it can, this will probably take about two hours to do the whole thing, which obviously we're not going to sit through that together. So what you can do to keep yourself from getting bored, aside from having your nice beverage, is listen to one of the playlists on our channel of like the vlogs, culture and lifestyle, which obviously you won't be able to watch it while you're doing this, but a lot of them you can listen to and you know, look at them later because they have some cool visuals. But um, on say like the, the Hofla skills playlist where I teach you all different aspects of beginning to perform and preparing for it, dealing with stage fright. There's also a playlist on costuming tips, tricks, and how-tos where I talk about not only, or show you not only how to do these, you know, DIY hip scarves, but um, some of the more elaborate classic belly dance costumes and how I go about designing them or creating them. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel and you are enjoying this, this is the style of stuff that we do and, and teach you. So you can subscribe and hit that notification bell. And getting ready for the last bead and then we're gonna try it on and dance in it and see how it is. Here we go. Right. Here we go.